Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Invasion of the Body Snatchers from 1978. What do you know about this movie? I actually don't know anything about this movie. Same, I know nothing. Uh, this one hour body horror Patreon poll. Yes, so we'd like to thank our patrons for voting for this to win our body horror Patreon poll. This has been recommended a ton uh, between this year and the, I think, 1956 Yeah, so version? there's multiple versions, mm -hmm. but the majority of recommendations were for this version. Yeah, so I guess technically a remake, um, and then I think there were some mentions of maybe even like more current remakes. Oh, okay. Uh, but I don't know what this is about. I would assume body snatchers, like- An invasion of them? Yeah, I would imagine like that they can take over you're cool. right. They could take over your body. Yeah. Movie poster gives pretty much nothing. Okay. I haven't even seen the movie poster. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, uh, shadows. Really? I think. Yeah. Okay. So man, so we're going in super blind on this one. Probably the most blind in a while for a movie, but like you said, highly recommended one our poll. So I'm excited to check this out. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Oh. So we're in outer space. So we're dealing with alien invasion. Looks I like, already don't like this. It looks like little uh, organisms, microorganisms. Yeah. Yeah, what is the scale that we're looking at right now? Jeff Goldblum, fuck yeah. <laughs> Veronica Cartwright too. That sounds familiar, right? Yeah. Where, where have we seen Veronica Cartwright? I don't know. Leonard Nimoy, that's uh, Spock. Even though we've never seen any Trek, Star Trek. I'm pretty sure that's Spock. Hmm. He directed something we watched, right? Oh, you're right, he did. I wanna say Three Men and a Baby. Hmm. So they literally just floated their way here and fell down with the rain. Get out of there, ladybug. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh man, so many dead kids. It's planned. I think it's a Grex. That's when two different species cross-pollinate. Wow, nice foreshadowing. Many of the species are dangerous weeds and should be avoided. Dangerous? Even more foreshadowing. You're in a good mood. Well, I got something to look forward to tonight. Playoff. <laughs> Sports. Never mind, I'll go downstairs. He has zero interest in her interests. Music. Department of Health. That was cool. How nice to see you. Is it nice? Oh, when the Department of Health comes, <laughs> probably not. So I never really realized, I assume Keither Sutherland is Donald Sutherland's son. Yes. <laughs> but I've never even like, like this guy's very familiar, but I don't even know from what. Fresh bay leaf and garlic. That's all. Yes. Man, he takes his job seriously. What is that? A caper. No. Do you presume to tell us what is in this stock? It's a rat turd. Oh no. A caper. A rat turd. A caper. Eat it then. Yeah, eat it. Eat it. You're charging way too much to be serving crap like that in here. Literally. An accident. You know how careful we are. We have to have seen him older on the channel. Donald Sutherland? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, get fucked, loser. I mean, he's potentially saving people from eating rat turds. He planted that turd. <laughs> A lot of interesting shots and like sound design so far. If you go to sleep now, you could get up early in the morning, couldn't you? Oh, Matthew. Matthew, stop. I'm not coming in before eight o'clock. I wasn't reading the news headlines. Was there anything? I didn't know exactly what he was cutting. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Bye. 
Okay. So Cartwright, Veronica Cartwright, I think it's Indiana Jones. Oh, yeah. It's her voice. It's, this is her, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. So she has the shitty husband who just likes sports. Yes. Was that that flower right next to him? Yeah. Oh, what happens in his sleepy slumber? He takes a sip. Or is it aggressive? Is it just going to come to him? God damn. <laughs> oh, oh, where is it? Oh, broke it. Oh my God. What are you doing? No, that can't be the Indiana Jones girl, right? Jeffrey? No, that doesn't look like her. I thought it was. Her voice sounds like her. Wonder what he tossed. I don't know. <gasps> people are running? Why are there so many people running? <laughs> what the bad dentist got up to this time? It was just weird. It's crazy. All dentists are crazy. He's a dentist? Yeah, so he's just in people's mouths? Oh man. Let me show you something really true, y'all. Rat shit. Ever seen one of these up close? Well, why are you so creepy, dude? Caper? Keeper. What is it? It's a rat turd. It's a small... Wow, you really thought? Really got it. It's a biggie. People got a declaration of sanitary on him. This guy is so jazzed. Oh, I'm sorry. There's so many strange people already. Yeah. How many flowers were there? Oh, I feel like it only took the shape of a flower because those ones landed on a flower. Oh. Like, I wonder if they can just turn into whatever the fuck it wants. Where are we going to the game? The Warriors. I know I gave the tickets to a patient. You're what? not going to see tonight's game? No choice. You're not going to watch sports? Elizabeth, I don't think I have to justify my every move to you. Damn, Jeffrey. He's still a dick. <laughs> I just want it to be nice. What's the matter with you? What just happened? I wish you could just feel it's not... Like him. Maybe he feels cold or something. Like he's dead. Also, his meeting is definitely an alien meeting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're a dentist. What, like, late night meetings yeah. are you? <laughs> Breaking new teeth. <laughs> Did you just get what I... <laughs> I probably said breaking too close to the new teeth. I know this is going to sound insane. Jeff, very... Is not Jeffrey. She came to that conclusion quick. He's just not the same person. Not hungry. <laughs> Where'd you get that wine? And hand me some of the ginger, the stuff there that's chopped up there. It's gotta be the cleanest kitchen ever. Right? Zero rat shit. The psychiatrist? I mean, you talk to him, I mean, he would put things into perspective for you. I'm not crazy. <laughs> he would eliminate whether Jeffrey I'm gay had a social disease, whether he'd become a Republican. Oh, my God. <laughs> you think I'm nuts? If you're not crazy, you can do the thing with your eyes. Whoa, you psycho. That just made me dizzy. What the fuck? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I couldn't if I wanted to. I like how they, they're like, he could be gay, or he could be a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> You're weird. I feel like right. they get better. Like, Jeffrey... At blending in. Over time. Like, Jeffrey was, like, weird as fuck in the beginning. Yeah. You a doctor, right? Me? No, health department. Civil service. Oh, someone in there's off. That not my wife. Fucking learn to adapt, lady. Where is everyone? Had a meeting. Where have you been? You've been driving me crazy. I've been looking all over for. Oh. She looks rough. <laughs> all recognizing each other. Something was passing between them all. Some secret. They can tell who's infected and who's not. 
Jeffrey was meeting all sorts of strange people. And none of them were people you knew? Okay. Are they like building something? I don't know, maybe. What are you passing? They're pretty like not inconspicuous. Conspicuous? I don't know. <laughs> They're out in the open? Yeah. Today everything seemed the same, but it wasn't. It really became frightening. Damn, how many people turned? They've been surrounded by Rommel for 40 days and they've run out of food. And one of the men says... Oh wait, you have told me. <laughs> They're coming! Listen to me! Oh, Listen! Hey, They're already here! Come! You're next! Damn! Oh! They ran him over? What's he talking about? I'll phone a witness report him when I get to the post office. That was creepy. Yeah. Finally here, these people are driving <gasps> me. Jeff! Up. We can have dinner later. How can you say that about a man like Kibner? I'm not saying it about a man like Kibner. I'm saying it about Kibner. <laughs> I wasn't even talking to you, was I? On the corner of uh, Leavenworth and uh, Turk. He's still Ted. He's Excuse still me, husband. can I just say Please. one thing? Oh. Oh, is this Leonard Nimoy? <laughs> Will you trust me? Will you please trust me? Uh oh, they're gonna turn her or something. Afraid. I'm afraid. I know. Just relax now. <laughs> I wonder how they get to other people. Right, of course, it's a big conspiracy. What's a conspiracy? Everything. Everything. My, My name is Elizabeth Driscoll, the public health Catherine. Oh, she seems like she's gone now. Yeah, she already looks like she's changed. I've been hearing it all week. It's getting very popular. I also you know, know somebody. somebody who's changed. Can we go yes. outside and talk about it? I don't think he's changed. He's way too expressive. So yeah. Far. People are changing. They're becoming less human. It's happening all around. Them. There's always people running in the street. Stop I want you to stand still. Stand be still quiet. Shut up. up. Jack, what? how did you feel about what I just did? What? I want to deal with that poor woman in the bookstore. Do you identify with her? Yes. Come on. I don't like this one bit. Go home and I'll, I'll call you later. Just go, go home, home and leave us alone for a little bit. Don't get rid of Jeff. You know, I feel like they should stick together. People seem to get over it in a day or two. All I can do is treat the symptom. Oh, man. They're literally changing in a day or two. <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> Take her home to her boyfriend. No, don't do that. Just wondering whether the health department should look at it. Who knows? I don't know. Your boyfriend's contagious. I did not expect a health department hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all the stuff that's been in the garbage. It looks like furry. Oh, and that's, is that why people keep throwing away trash or whatever? I don't or, know. Or what the what first guy did? Yeah. Is that Kipner's new book? It's garbage. I think that's Veronica Cartwright? Oh, it could be, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jack. I don't know. <laughs> a mud bath? Yeah, this seems like a breeding ground for... Disease. Yeah. Help me out of this thing. <laughs> oh, man. I've done tons of experiments on it. Come on, Nancy. Turn the music Relax. Off. What are you doing, man? This is must reading, Mrs. Belichick. Have you read Star Maker by Olaf Stapleton? You're so smart. Oh, Mr. Gianni, you've been sitting in that mud too long. <laughs> I'll walk you inside. You don't have to. There's a plant, right? Yeah. Jeffrey! Thank you, Matthew. You really made me feel better. Oh, oh there's Jeffrey. Okay. Thanks for helping. Honey, where are you? Um. Whoa! Why do you have a nosebleed? I think she just hit him. Oh. What is that? Was that wrapped in something or like skinned? Um, no, I think like he was- a cocoon? Yeah, I think he was like in a cocoon or something. What kind of joke is this? It's not a joke. Why would you think this is a joke? Yeah, what? What the hell is it? Keep calm, Nancy. Keep calm. Nancy, shut the hell up. It's got no fingerprints. I thought it was definitely someone who turned, but I guess this is like literally growing. Yeah. How much do you weigh? 170. Why? Oh, Jack. Who are you calling? Elizabeth? It's turning into Jack? It's like growing another Jack? Yeah, I don't know. I'm wondering, are these things getting inside people? 
Or are they growing to mimic the people and then they're just killing oh, them? Oh, replacing them? Hello? Oh. Hello? Elizabeth, what's the matter? What's going on with Elizabeth? I like how she was like, I'm really afraid of my boyfriend. And they're like, you know what you need? A great night's rest at your boyfriend's house. <laughs> It's definitely improving. Oh! Jack! Jack, wake up! Guys! Oh! Look at that connection. Oh, Jack! Yeah! <laughs> Jesus, dude. Is this their place still? I think so. Or like the basement or. Oh. Well, at least he got in. Just watching clocks? Oh. Elizabeth. oh, no, that's plant Elizabeth. She has no nipples. Wake up. Uh oh. Nice. How's he going to get her out, though? I mean, once you got her, you don't really need to be too quiet about it. Just go right out the front door into the car. Oh, that was tense. Got her out of there. So it's like, what the hell are they doing with all of these bodies everywhere? I can't find anything in here that looks like a body. What? It's gone? It's got to be. We saw that. I saw its nose bleed. White hair. Is it in the mud? We got some friends who enjoy playing practical jokes. Shut have... up, Leonard. Oh yeah, look at all that trash. So do the real bodies just like disintegrate into like dust? Bluff? Yeah. No, did you see it? There was nothing here to see. Who are we waking up now, Matthew? That was nine one one. I would like to report a body. I think those are bodies. What body is he reporting, though? A, Her a, plant body? Maybe. Where's Elizabeth? Definitely not going to be there still. No. wonder if any of the remnants of the plants will be there, though. Or will there be another Elizabeth here that they'll see and they'll be like, oh. there. It's Elizabeth's double. Where, Matthew? That's leaves in a pot. Oh, my God. No, no, she's not missing. Where is she? She's okay. Oh, Leonard Nemo, you dumb son of a bitch. No, no, I didn't. No, I took her from there. Her other body was in here. That's what I've been trying to explain. Oh, my God. This is a mess. No, I'll take Dr. Kibner's word that Elizabeth is all right. Fine. Then let's go. You don't find that strange? I have to pick up some of her clothes. I guess you'll just scrap Elizabeth for now. I don't know. If you saw its nose bleed, and Nancy saw its eyes open, he must have been alive. You're looking at it as if it was human. It was not human. This guy needs to get on board or go outside. Look, the reason that you don't believe Elizabeth is because the other body disappeared. Jeffrey took it. Yeah, well then what happened to my other body? Got up and left. Will you please listen to what you're saying? People being duplicated, will you listen to how that sounds? <laughs> Why are you trying to do that? All I'm trying to do is help. <laughs> you're shit at helping. You've upset my wife, too. <laughs> he's just too, like, He thinks he's literal. too smart. Yeah. Yeah. I was there, and I saw it, and I'm going to fight it. Matthew, I feel like friend. he's the alien leader. You think? Get official support. I'd institute the same kind of emergency procedures that we use for a cholera epidemic. I'll be at my office. If you have any other ideas, get in touch. I feel like this is already insanely widespread. Yes. Like, they're talking about, like, oh, we got to stop the panic. You're already gone like they were killing people in the street yesterday the sooner the better you son of a bitch you are the alien leader <laughs> the sooner the better what do you think they're gonna do start whatever they're on earth to do i have seen these flowers all over they're growing like parasites on other plants all of a sudden where are they coming from outer space yes years ago so those spacemen could Mate with monkeys and apes and create the human race. Um, okay, let's slow down a little. <laughs> I'm a deputy public health inspector. Yeah, is this another call about imposters? 
I think this is our problem. I think it is affecting people. How? I don't like you either. Yeah. We late, Elizabeth, and you're behind in your work. So I'll do the test for you. No, he's gonna be like, this is a normal flower. I've never seen a more normal flower. I can't understand why you've become so emotional about a little flower. How do you not recognize that that guy is way off? Well, I'd like to suggest that we meet in Union Square. We can't talk over the phone. Right away. Oh, I don't trust anyone. No. And Mr. Bunnell, we're asking for your expression from now on because this whole thing might be a baiting. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Such crazy shots. I know. Hello? Is this just a case of paranoia, Mr. No, no, no. Dude, you're getting nowhere. This music is making me so uneasy with right. these like, camera angles. No, no. I want everybody to see that I'm back to myself again. I'm totally fine. What they need is the glasses from They Live. Yeah. And then to just start killing. Can I give the Bella checks a ride? No, I'm not going back there. Yes, everyone stay together. There's even just like a constant, like something going, yeah. you know? I feel like it's psychologically messing with us. Don't fall asleep. Oh, look, little fibers are coming after him. It's like collecting his information. Wake up. That's so gross. Oh, is it growing like multiple of him? Yeah. That's his clone. Dude, wake up. I think it's too late. I don't know why you decided to go outside alone and fall asleep. Are there multiple? That's what I'm saying. I, I've seen a bunch of plants. So it's like, how many of him are they making? Oh no, it's making... Is it everyone in the house? I think so. I don't know how it got everyone in the house's DNA or whatever. Matthew! Matthew! Oh. Matthew! Matthew! Matthew, wake up! Jeez. The others. Thank God you woke up. I'll get the police. Police are gone, dude. The whole world is gone. They're all caught. All of them. Jeez. They grow out of those pods. They cut our power. It's time to arm yourself and start shooting anyone who's slightly suspicious. Uh-oh. I feel like they're like the only four left. I was dialing direct. I'll try the number for you, Mr. Bunnell. I didn't give you my name. <laughs> Around that way, under the stairs. Go on. I'll catch up with you. No, stop splitting up. Or at least kill yourself. Or kill something. Or leave. Ooh. Oh my god! Oh, they didn't like that. Go on. Oh, that, why was that so loud? They seem to have a weakness of smashing their face in. They're just pointing them out. Yeah. Who made the music to this movie? Psycho. They lost them. It's terrifying to know, like, how widespread is this? Yeah, like, we're in San Francisco, but, you know. It, did it only come because it rained, like, here or something? Or did they land all over the world already? Ooh. Oh, that's a lot of people. Keep them here and I'll come back with help. Jack. What? What are you guys doing? 
They well, just straight up sacrifice themselves. I liked Jack and Nancy. Yeah, Jack and Nancy are fucked now. Is this fake Jack and Nancy? No, not Jack and Nancy. Matthew and Elizabeth? I don't know. Are they just trying to act like yeah, it? Yeah, I was wondering, can you like try to blend in? But if you can't like telepathically talk to people. Great day to be an alien, huh? Pick up the pace. Stop looking behind. Your report. So maybe there's still some people? I think so. Carrying two human passengers. No, we're not leaving. I'm meeting someone coming in from Boston. Everyone is so suspicious. I know. Ah! Can everyone get out of their cars? Bop up. Oh. Yeah, I feel like they would need to like steal a car, not yeah. get a taxi. Oh, the banjo guy. Did he kill the pod so the banjo guy's okay? Or is that already a bad banjo? I feel like they're already bad, but I don't know. Oh, that was scary. I feel like it's like so impossible because it's like a hive mind. Yeah. Darts? Yeah, there's like nowhere to hide. I feel like I don't trust it. I mean, not the best time, but might as well. I mean, if they're all gonna die. Oh, are those all their, like, pods or whatever? Yeah. They're taking them to all those cities. You have to stay awake. Don't answer. I'll say, no, you're in here. Yeah. So I assume if Elizabeth, Elizabeth, other, oh my God, is if Elizabeth falls asleep, one of the pods starts making her? Yeah. Take some. What are they? Speed, it'll keep us awake. Speed? <laughs> Just take one. Take five. Five? Fuck, you guys are gonna be going hardcore. Well, I guess uh, Matthew was like being cloned also. But he uh, killed his clone. Oh yeah. But they also cloned a second Elizabeth. Oh. Don't touch her. David, don't let them touch her. David, don't let them touch her. David's an alien. But what happens to us? You'll be born again into an untroubled world. Everything remains intact. You've never agreed with him in your life before. <laughs> Yeah, you're not the same. Well, David's the only one David. that was still David the whole time, right? No, I mean, he's an alien. Oh. I would assume he's an alien. I thought he was... Well, yeah, I thought he was just, like, always an alien. Oh, no, I assume he was a normal person. He just oh. got changed at some point. I hate you. <laughs> they don't hate you. There's no need for hate now. Or love. I wonder if the amount or of love. speed that they took... There are people that will fight you, David. Yeah, I'm hoping the speed counteracts whatever he just took. We drift through the universe from planet to planet, pushed on by the solar winds. The function of life is survival. There we go. Yes! Kill him! Sorry. Oh shit, I didn't realize he had the dart in the back of his neck. I thought he was just choking him. I thought him. he was choking him too. Uh, already tried the uh, blending in technique. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. They have to move fast. They just got... Yeah, they just got hit with some... Injected, yeah. Oh! What's that? It's on screen. I've lost Jack. We got separated. It's Elizabeth. Oof. Are you Elizabeth? No, I mean Nancy? Yeah. Don't show any emotions. Hide your feelings. I'm going to sleep. We'll watch over each other. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They could take turns, right? Yeah. Let's find Jack. Oh, mm. yeah. I killed Jack. Okay. Okay. 
So I guess they just weren't very good at blending in, but they yeah. still can. They need some of those to carry around. Yeah, carry a little pod. Hey, the lines are over there. Thank you. <laughs> Ask if you have a question. Oh, there you go. That's where you pick up all your, your pod. Holy fuck. Oh, cover's blown. <laughs> Just knocked out the old lady. That was horrifying. Yeah, what? I mean, this movie's wild, but I never thought a half banjo man, half dog would call them out and then he would sock an old lady in the face. Where's this truck going? I don't know. You're entering into somewhere? Ooh. Fuck, you're in a pod box. It's enormous. They set this up so quick. Yeah. Well, they took over the all of San Francisco. Yeah. So quick. Oh. Elizabeth. I'll try. Here. She needs to stop screaming. I love you. Oh, I can't. I can't. Damn. I mean, there's no way this has like a happy ending. They took over San Francisco <laughs> in like 24 hours. The farther along we were getting, the more I was like... They're just fucked. I'll go down there. I'll be right back. They did say, uh, what was Nancy said, they're plants like music. Mm. Can music, like, hypnotize them or something? Improved visibility, three miles off the coast. Nighttime lows in the low 50s tonight and in the 40s. She asleep? Is she even still there? Wake up. Wake up. I mean, you're just fucked even if you just fall asleep. Yeah. Oh. Jeez. Damn, that sucks. Matthew. God, we're down to one. Elizabeth just like disintegrated so quickly. That was like a heartbreaking too, like telling her they're gonna take him away on the ships. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I can think of is you can set fire to this place, but they're already so widespread that I don't really even think it's going to put a dent into anything. And like that was confirmation that all these people are dead, dead. Yeah. Oh, oh no. That set off an alarm grabbing the axe? Okay, this is something. Jeez. With the tongue? Elizabeth, you snitch. <laughs> oh. Like, what is his plan, though? I know, there's like nothing you really can do other than just, like I said, burn the place down, but probably doesn't do that much in the grand scheme of things. The sound. I know, the shrieking and the screaming, the crazy music. Can they go in the water? I assume so. They're still like human bodies. But like, do they know how to swim? I mean, everything's literally worth a shot. Uh oh. We'll get him. We'll get him. Jackson County, please report to the Civic Auditorium. Sorry, kids. Report to City Hall. Why do we have to take a nap now? Oh, go to sleep, kids. Sector five, City of Point, Code Seven. Kim, you just went there? I guess. The shittiest thing is you just can't sleep. Yeah. Like, at least with like a zombie movie or something, you just gotta like not get bit. Yeah, so he's just like among them right now? Maybe there's others. What is their like grand plan though? Because I feel like they're still trying to do Something. Maybe it's just to infect the whole world. Yeah. I think maybe it's just to take over. Oh, 
Also, out of any like sort of like outbreak type of movie, this one I feel like has the least amount of resistance. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, Nancy, you're shit out of luck. <laughs> All right, that was Invasion of the Body Snatchers. What'd you think? I mean, that was fantastic, but I just felt so uneasy. <laughs> That pretty was pretty much the whole movie. Yeah, that was an incredible movie. Like, yeah, I love that so much. But yeah, that was horrifying, <laughs> like a lot scarier than I thought. Yeah. And like psychologically scarier, like yeah. for a body horror film, like there were absolutely some gross moments. But I would say like if in comparison, like the fly that we've watched before, like that was so much more gruesome. This to me was a lot more of like a psychological horror. Yeah, absolutely. It was just insane how quickly everything collapsed. Yeah, I mean, they took over in like a matter of hours. I said in the reaction, like for an outbreak movie, which I'll just consider this like an outbreak movie, usually some sort of resistance or pushback or something like the entire movie, you just felt fucked that you just couldn't do anything. And it just kept yeah. going and getting worse and worse. And you eventually were just like, nothing positive is gonna happen. We're totally screwed. And then even at the end of the movie, it's horrifying at the end. And it's still like a punch to your gut, even though you're expecting it. No, I mean, I, for a second there, I was like, okay, like Matthew and Nancy were good. Like, are they gonna repopulate the whole planet? Maybe, maybe they could do that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I was waiting for something cause like he showed up and he like looked like he was still trying to play along and he yeah. was like cutting a headline clipping out like i was like okay what last thing does he have up his sleeve or something and then nope he was just a fucking alien for the entire time you were watching him at the end there yeah no i thought like he was cutting something out with maybe some type of note that he was gonna try to get to elizabeth because he still loved her like the fact that he went in there and he was still looking at her like, but they can't feel love. They can't feel anything. Anything, so, yeah. I don't know. I thought, okay, maybe something with the music, like it was brought up again and then we heard music again. So like, I kept trying to give myself hope of like, how can humanity live and survive this? And it's like, no, they were just screwed from the beginning. Yeah. And I think something that's really scary is always like outbreak infection type of stuff. Like the fact that this was almost like a disease, like you, like contagious and uh, something that you couldn't see. Like in the beginning, it was like microorganisms practically that mm -hmm. just landed on some flowers. That always makes it way scarier. Obviously we've now lived through like a pandemic and an outbreak and stuff, but stuff like that is a lot more believable to be like, holy shit, some sort of crazy disease can just kind of like wipe through humanity and you really can't do anything about it. Yeah, no, exactly. I have to say, I think, the best part of this film was the sound design and the music. By far. The sound design and the music was chilling the entire time. Yeah, I mean, there's a good portion uh, in the middle there, and I think you commented on it, where you're hearing just like a very low, like... Rumble or... Yeah, sound. And when they're in the final stages of like getting ready to like birth yeah. that the clone, that sound is actually like the same sound that you have when you're in the hospital and you're hooked up during oh, pregnancy. Oh, you're right. You kind of hear like the low, like, it's kind of like the heartbeat. But it's like a whooshing sound. Right. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, that's like a very recent sound. So yes. I was like, oh shit, like that. So it's like you hear that before they're like birthing yeah. new life. And you know, it was crazy because when this movie started, I thought it was like an infection, like uh, something got inside your system and just took control of your body. Yes. But it was more like extracting your like DNA or whatever and yeah. creating like a connection mm -hmm. so that the host body would just disintegrate once it would fall asleep. Yeah. And the new body could be born from any pod 
that you really wanted to. Right, because with we saw it mostly with Jack when he, that was like our first glimpse of it in the spa? Mud. Mud. mud uh, place? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, when, you know, his eyes closed, his eyes opened, and then, you know, they, they swapped, and then his nose started bleeding the clone. So that was like our first inkling that it wasn't just a body takeover. Because you kind of think about it like body snatcher, they're taking your body, they're snatching your body. Right, but technically they are, but not in the way that we probably first envisioned. Yes, yeah, I mean, they're snatching everything about you into this new being. And it was also just like, to continue on the hopelessness of this movie, Matthew like smashes his clone's face in. Yeah. And you're like, okay, maybe he killed his clone and like cut the connection. Yeah. It doesn't matter because we see with Elizabeth, they made like three Elizabeths. Yeah. They made the first one, which I don't know where the fuck that one went. Yeah. Then the second one was at Matthew's house. Don't know what happened with that one. And then the third one was the one at the end who was like naked and screaming at him at the final one. So it's right. like, again, there's just nothing you could do. Yeah. As soon as you were asleep, it was over. Yeah. But I think it's because they already got like the DNA at that point. I think once he got touched by like the whatever vines or whatever you want to yeah. call it. At, from that point, now you're sick or whatever, and you're you're fucked. Yeah, so they basically had to stay awake. Because I think for Nancy, I want to say we never actually saw... Did we see a Nancy being formed? Because I, I think there was three bodies outside. Uh, or yeah. was there four outside uh, the apartment? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Because it could have just also been as, as simple as uh, touching the flower, which they all did. And they all were like smelling the flower and stuff. So... I don't really remember. It could have just been three, but I don't think Nancy had slept by the end of the movie either. Yeah, I would assume that has to be then the only way that she was still Nancy. I don't know what I was expecting. I was obviously expecting like a good movie, but like you said, like this was such an intense psychological thriller, mm -hmm. not thriller, horror, because everything was just done so excellent. Not only like we touched on the hopelessness, the fact that you can't sleep, that you can't even like sever the connection to the clones, the fact that they took everything over so quickly, but then you throw in like the chilling music mm -hmm. the entire time, uh, the way that it was shot, crazy camera angles yeah. and like whooshing around and just kind of make you disoriented and stuff. And yeah. certain shots were like out of focus when people are getting tired, but it was also just so eerie in the very beginning, like the transformation of people starting to turn and like trying to figure out, are you crazy or are you like actually picking up on things? And like, yeah. even like the scene where the one guy like jumped on the car and was like freaking out and then like they killed him and like they kind of drove past the crime scene. It's just like hundreds of people just like standing there. Like it's, it's freaky. Yeah, no, I'm, it was scary. And especially in San Francisco where you know like how populated it is. Yeah, it's just so dense. The car scene was really scary. And then for Matthew to be calling the police and them being like, I don't know what you're talking about. Right. Like what body? Yeah, exactly. Like he tried to call DC. He was calling the police. I mean, he had that one like montage of him calling person after person. He was getting nowhere. Um, another very terrifying scene was when they showed up to Matthew's house after he called the police. For like that few minutes, it genuinely felt like a very intense like zombie movie. Yeah. Like they, it was just hordes of people and they're all like screaming and it was dark and everyone's face is like lit to look like they're a monster yeah. and they're like clawing at the gate and at the doors and they're all just trying to run away. It's, it was scary as hell. I feel like for as realistic as you can make like an outbreak zombie type movie, yeah. this definitely felt like it. Yeah, exactly. And that's what always makes it like scarier. Yeah. Like um, we just watched recently, I Know What You Did last summer, right? Yeah. I think. And so like the main premise of that is like, oh, uh, evil fisherman. That's uh, coming next week. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We watched it, but it's coming out next week. But the main premise of that was like, oh, evil fisherman. It's like, okay, I'm not going to really lose any sleep yeah. from this. Uh, but stuff that does scare me is like, demonic shit or something like that but something like this is also very scary too because i'm like maybe it's not an alien thing but i mean there could be some sort of like fucked up parasite that just wipes through people yeah and you can't really do anything about it yeah so this was a hell of a lot scarier than i thought 
It was so engaging. It was like masterfully made mm -hmm. with the camera work and the sound design and everything. And I think it does what like a really good horror movie does, which just leaves you so fucking depressed <laughs> when it's over. Yeah, there was, I mean, you said it there close to the end that there was no happy ending coming for this. No. Um, even though you want to kind of hold on to a little bit of hope, but damn, that was depressing and creepy and making me uneasy. Like, I'm probably going to have nightmares after this one. Oh, you know what I'm going to have a nightmare of? What? The banjo dog. <laughs> that was wild. I think I might have tried to like block that out of my memory. That shocked the hell out of me. And yeah. I, what, because they smashed his pod or something. So like the birth got mixed or fucked up. Or was it because he was like sleeping next to the dog? So like the vines touched the dog and him Both. and thought it was like one thing. Or maybe he was trying to protect his dog. And I don't know, there's a lot of different things, but that was kind of something that Elizabeth like alluded to in the beginning. Obviously talking about these alien beings trying to get into your body and all of that. But I think more so that dog man, <laughs> dog banjo man. That was, that came out of nowhere. Yeah. And then that old lady just started screaming and just bang and they just run yeah no that cover got blown so fast and then nancy's just like good luck guys yeah she's like oh fuck you guys are screaming well i'm okay over here yeah so I, i'll definitely have nightmares about that and yeah i totally kind of forgot about that first scene that essentially like covered the whole movie mm -hmm. which is that like little discussion about some invasive flower species yeah so a very interesting movie i mean i've never seen I mean, I've obviously seen a handful of like alien movies, but you're always expecting, what is it? Like a silver ship or what What do they say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jeff Goldblum had some line yeah. and he's like, I wasn't expecting anything at all. But I guess when you see like an alien movie, you're expecting, you know, little green monsters and stuff, not like a microorganism that just kind of takes over the whole world. Yeah, no, this is much scarier it was, than that. Yeah, another thing that made it scary was you just really didn't know anything. Like you didn't really know the scale. Like is mm -hmm. all of San Francisco gone? Did this happen all over the world? Like yeah. you weren't getting any information. You were just really focused on these four people trying to survive, but there was just nothing they could do. Yeah, I mean, we saw in the very beginning it like come to earth and then we watched it kind of sprouting in these plants. After that, we were pretty much on our own. We were with Matthew, Elizabeth, Jack, Nancy, figuring things out as they were for the most part. I mean, obviously we did kind of see also Dr. Kittner, I think. Yeah, uh, uh, Kib Kibner. Yeah, Kibner. We saw him get into the car and obviously we got like a heads up before I, the characters did. Right. Uh, but for the most part, we were learning things as they were. Yeah, so, and they were not learning much at all. Not fast enough. So that was a frightening movie. Excellent. I had such a great time. Uh, it's real interesting to think that this is a remake. So it's like, yeah. I wonder the quality or uh, how good the first one is. And then if there's any more or something like that. But every once in a while, I'll watch a movie on the channel where even though this was excellent, it would be cool to see it reimagined slightly again with, you know, obviously newer technology and newer techniques and stuff just to see can they make it any different or scary not necessarily better but there's always movies that i see that i'm like i would like to see someone else's take on a very similar thing yeah so i guess we have the 1956 version that we can always check out even if it's not for the channel yeah um and then i think i think there were comments that there is a newer one but i'm not sure because i hadn't heard of it but yeah i mean very strong cast also in this oh yeah um we were very confused between brooke adams and the name veronica cartwright right also thinking that brooke adams was from indiana jones her <laughs> voice sounds like the lady from indiana she's jones. very close looking and like from a profile you could kind of maybe get confused yeah but no no so. and then yeah <laughs> so we had to take a break to feed the baby so in that point we looked up and we we're like this isn't even veronica cartwright <laughs> yeah. like we're looking at the wrong person then realizing veronica cartwright is from alien yeah that was all messed up that was all messed up in the beginning but we we got it right <laughs> um but yeah this was such a great time a perfect movie for a spooky season yes yeah a hundred percent recommend this um so thanks to the patrons for voting for this uh for the body horror 
poll because this was great. So if you'd like to see the full-length reaction for this as well as everything else we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> peace everyone. I'm glad you didn't scream. <laughs>